Hey everyone, I'm Enrico from Jumpy Anthony Company. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Allen & Heath SQ console for streaming. Whether you're on Twitch, Facebook, or any other streaming platform, it's the same process and it's actually super simple to set up on the SQ. Today I've got with me an SQ6, but it's the same process for all three consoles, SQ5, SQ6, and SQ7. I'm going to be connected to my computer over USB, but we can also do this with Dante if we have the additional card installed in our SQ. We have two ways that we can go about this. First is to duplicate our front of house mix out over USB. To do this, head over to I.O., Outputs, and then Mix Output. You can see on our local tab that we have our main left and right output assigned to the physical sockets on our SQ. We can assign these over USB as well without affecting our main PA. Head over to the USB tab, hit patch, and then you can patch these in as well. If you're running a basic setup or only streaming, this is the quickest way to get everything going. If you're using your board to stream and not running into the PA as well, you can actually jump ahead in the video and we can set this up for OBS now. The other way we can set up a streaming mix is to use one of our auxes, and this is the same way we would set up a monitor. This is useful if you have a different mix that you want to send to streaming rather than your front of house. Examples of why you would do this would be to bypass any kind of room tuning or delay on your main output. Or you simply just want a different mix for your broadcast. You can add in some room mics to help your digital audience feel like they're in the room with you. In these situations, we need to route USB 1 and 2 out to one of our auxes. Let's head back into I.O. page, select Output, Mix Out, and then USB. We're going to take our outputs 1 and 2 and assign them to one of our auxes. If you need to make an aux stereo, you can head over to Setup, Mixer Configuration, and then Mix Stereo. This is where we can change any of our auxes from mono to stereo. Now let's route all the channels we want to broadcast. I find the quickest way to get this going is to actually copy our left and right main mix and paste it to Mix 1. This copies all the routing and none of the additional processing like delay or EQ out. Make sure all your leveler adjustments are good to go, and you're set. Now that our mixer is set up, let's head over to OBS and configure our computer. All right, since we're streaming to Twitch, I need to go to twitch.tv and get my stream key. Here's the home page. I've logged in. Make sure you go and do that. Then once you are logged in, click your user icon, click settings, then head over to channels and videos. Here is your stream key. Again, you do not want to share this with anyone ever. So you can just press the copy button or you can highlight everything and do command or control V, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. It's the same thing, so you can just hit the copy button. We're pretty much done with Twitch for now, so we can go and head to OBS. First thing I want to do in OBS is head to my preferences. Here, I'm going to go to Stream, and I'm going to select Twitch as my server. You can leave the server as Auto. You can go and paste your Stream key. Under there, we're going to head over to the Output tab, and you can use the simple output mode if you want. Just make sure you set the audio bit rate to 320 so you have the highest quality audio possible. If you want to get fancy and use Advanced, honestly, the only things you really need to change are the key interval to 2 and Again, the audio bit rate to 320. Last tab we need to touch on is audio. Make sure this is 48. I'm going to be streaming today in stereo. You can change that if you want, but out of the SQ, I'm coming stereo, so I'm just going to leave that as stereo. Now we need to go and add a source. So you can click the plus sign down here, and I'm going to do audio input capture. I'm going to label this SQ. You have to select the device now. You can do SQ audio if you're connected over USB. If your SQ is plugged in via Dante, you can do that here, Dante Virtual Sound Card. I'm going to select SQ audio and hit OK. So now in my audio mixer section, I have my SQ. Just as a safety precaution, I recommend dropping this down to minus one to avoid any clipping issues. You never know. And I'm going to click this gear icon and go to Advanced Audio Properties. 
If you run into a situation where your camera and your audio are out of sync, this is where you can go and fix that. So under sync offset, I can raise the milliseconds to bring my camera back in sync with the audio. And then once that's calibrated, you can hit close. That's pretty much everything you need to set up in OBS for your audio end of things. Once your camera is good to go, or maybe a display capture, you're ready to start streaming. So get your video set up, and then you can just click start streaming right here. That covers everything you need to get your SQ ready to stream. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comments. Thanks for watching JBA University. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you find out when we put out more videos. Really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.